Hello folks, uh, welcome to my video blog. I'm your host Philip Meyer. Um, yeah, I salvaged this um, optical unit from an old laser printer and uh, yeah, I just want to show you how that works and um, how it looks from the inside. So, so this is the optical unit um, of the laser printer. Um, this is basically um, the part inside the printer that does the drawing of the picture. And the way this works, you have a laser beam entering the cavity here. It's focused um, through this uh, lens assembly onto this uh, uh, mirror, polygon um, scanner, scanning mirror that has polished sides, so it reflects here, goes through this corrective uh, uh, lens uh, assembly that's to uh, correct your focus, so you have always a perfectly focused dot on uh, on, on your target, um, uh, which I come later to, um, so that get corrected here and then reflected off by this prism. So and um, yeah, what it basically does is um, uh, yeah, let's put it away and draw the rest of the printer because the rest is of course already um, in the junk. So, um, yeah, what, what you have is, you have uh, uh, this uh, wheel where, where your picture is uh, basically prepared on. So the, the way that it works, you, you put an uh, H3 source to the wheel and then you have a source of a toner, toner material that gets dusted onto this wheel. So it gets covered with toner. And um, the trick here is that um, the coating of, of the wheel is, um, is gets conductive when it's, hit, when it's hit by light. So when it hits, when, it, when a laser beam hits the wheel, the, uh, the wheel surface, this here gets conductive. It makes a, a, a tiny shot into the material and that causes the electrons which are sitting on the surface of the wheel and holding the toner in place. Um, to flow back to ground, and um, the and the uh, wheel cannot get hold of the toner anymore, so it it uh, just comes off, and that's um, how you draw your picture on this wheel, and then that gets um, uh, then the, the paper is um, uh, put through as yes, another one, and paper slid through, and then you have uh, your heat assembly that that heats it up. It's usually uh, just a just a powerful lamp, nothing more, and yeah, and then your paper comes out. That's how you get your picture, and that's the basic concept of uh, uh, of a photocopy machine, of the Xerox machine. So that's basically the same, only that you have in your regular photocopy machine. You, you just don't have these uh, laser assembly that draws it line by line. Here, so instead, you have some lens assembly, and you have this glass plate, and that get that focuses the uh, image, uh, the image line by line on the to the wheel but basically uh, a laser printer is a, is a modified photocopy machine so that's all and yeah and that's the thing that draws the picture and yeah there's not much behind it I mean you have just a, a simple that looks like a three-phase motor you have these uh, three uh, um, diodes here and yeah, that's that's continuously spinning, and um, what you also have is here in the uh, here is a, a little metal mirror. I guess you can see that it's reflecting here. So that's that's a little mirror that reflects the beam right onto a detector, and that's that's how the machine is calibrating itself. So this is continuously spinning, and um, when the detector gets hit by a laser beam, the uh, electronics know that uh, a new line has just started and then they can um, uh, modulate the laser beam so that one line of the, the picture is uh, generated. So what I want to show you is, uh, and really that's uh, what I want to try to show you here is, uh, I want just to replace this diode with, with the helium neon laser. Um, and try to um, replicate the functionality and just um, try to uh, um, to show off um, how the uh, beam thingy works. So here I have replaced the diode with a, a regular a helium neon laser and um, when I turn the wheel 
you can see on my trousers the laser beam so that's basically what generates your picture and so that's how it basically looks like and let's try to focus the laser beam onto the beginning so that it hits the sensor yeah I don't know if that is visible enough but yeah you see so that's that's the point in time where the electronics would detect that a new line starts and then it would move the laser beam as it moves on it would be modulated and you get your line on the picture uh, on the picture wheel so that's how it goes I mean this these uh, plastic uh, lenses are of course um, corrected for the for a infrared wavelengths that the printer is working with so we do not get a perfect um, image obviously so we see here a neon laser but I think it shows things off it's close enough so it must be some perfect point of focus I guess it doesn't get much smaller than this so yeah that's it here you have your line So one last word about the um, correction lens assembly. So, of course, when the laser is scanning, it um, it gets reflected in uh, an angle. So, and as the angle grows, your dot is no longer a uh, dot. It becomes uh, to uh, to get an o uh, to become an oval, and so that's why you need your um, correction lenses. So that's it for now. Take care. Goodbye. See you again.